Hi, I'm Mike from Hackaday. I'm here with our good friend Crux from Las Vegas. You're the president of SimShop. In... SimShop, yes. Yeah, and you're exhibiting what today at So uh, this Fair? is Project Hathor. So it's a form of impulse generator or ring launcher. So this is just a standard hard drive platter. It's made of aluminum. It's not actually magnetic, but it's a conductor, and that's one of the key things that make this makes this work. So we have a microwave oven transformer that goes to a bridge rectifier, which will basically charge up this capacitor bank. Uh, once the capacitor bank is charged to a sufficient level, then I can hit the fire button, which will close this contactor here, dump all the energy that I took a long time, a relatively long time to charge into this coil here, which will create a big magnetic field. And anytime you have a conductor in a magnetic field, it causes electricity to happen. And then anytime you have electricity in a conductor, it causes electric, a magnetic field. So the two fields will basically repel one another. So if you took like two North Pole, it's on a, uh, two different magnets they want to repel. So same thing. So how did you get the idea to use the hard drive platters as the ammunition? Uh, I'm not the first one to create a ring launcher. So I've seen several on the internet and it's been like one of my projects I've wanted to make for a, a while. Uh, I just, you know, happened to make mine really pretty. So. <laughs> and how did you spec the size of the capacitor bank? Uh, basically what capacitors I could get my hands on. So those aren't exactly cheap. These actually came from the show O. Um, they have things called VFDs, which are used to drive like big three-phase motors. So like when they're moving like big sets of machinery back and forth, uh, it's used to control that. Um, how are they going to only run them so, so long and then it's like no longer safe for like human life. <laughs> and so they got donated and it's like, all right, well, I have a big faster bank and you know microwave oven transformers those are pretty cheap and you know a bunch of other parts laser cutter 3d printer and i have a ring launcher so you have a kill switch there yeah so there's a e-stop and then there's a remote e-stop and like charge so if uh if i have a button down that basically takes these big power resistors and shunts them across the faster bank so whenever it's not powered on it's in a safe state okay so, and it's made out of half inch acrylic because it can. It's working at like two thousand yeah. volts. So it's, you know, it, the microwave oven transformer. You mess around with that, it will kill you. <laughs> so there's a lot of safety built into this. Okay, it's got a meter down there where it's charging. Yeah, so there's a meter. Um, we'll go up to about seven hundred volts or so. And, we'll and stand back. back. And press fire. <laughs> That's fantastic. Any idea what the highest you've gotten the, the uh, projectile um, to go is? At 2,000 volts, it kind of sounds like a gunshot. <laughs> and it's well above the height of our building at Sin Shop, and we have like 35 foot uh, ceiling. It's actually higher than that. Oh, I love it. 35 feet is about the max you can put in there, and then you start running into the lights and stuff. So. Thanks so much for showing us this today. If people want to learn more, is there a place they can go for information? Oh, uh, yeah. So all the project details of how I built it and parts and all that are on my website, crux.org, so K-R-U-X. Um, and then it's listed under the projects there.